Nick, welcome to Tabletop Simulator specifically. Welcome to the board game known as Waveling. So Ooh. this one is interesting. Like, I actually have right here with me. Look at this. I have this game. So oh, it's the, uh, the it's, look it's, at that. it's like um, it's like with piracy, right? It's okay if you own the physical product. Like if you yes, own yes to play it digitally. Like, uh, not that, yes, yes. <laughs> not that this is piracy. This is just a to emulate version it, of right? That tabletop simulator, but I do have the game, and I figured Nick, this would be interesting for us to play. So the general way this is played is with more people. Right, so you usually play with more than two people. You usually mm -hmm. play with like at least two teams of two, I would say. And your team gets points based on how well you guess the answers, right? Uh, yeah. We're lonely. Nick, there's just the two of us. We are. And we so, are very. <laughs> <laughs> and so I figured the way that we would play this is that the person giving the clue, I think, is going to be the one who gets the points, simply because I think that that's the tricky yeah. part of this game is like yeah. giving a good clue, right? Yeah. And we're yeah. going to yeah. play in good faith that the person receiving the clue is going to guess. Makes an attempt. Yeah, it makes an attempt, attempt to guess, to guess right. what. Yeah. yeah, yeah so, yeah, for yeah. those who do not know how this game is played, it's fairly straightforward. We have here a deck of cards in both English and French. Also, just a heads up, we are here in the woods. I did figure out, Nick, how to change the background. So we have the option of a cathedral. If oh, we would, my uh, <laughs> lord, look at that. <laughs> it matches prefer. the table, to be fair, like the um, fuse. <laughs> or we could just go back out into a, into a regular the middle field. of nowhere, right? Oh, yeah. man. This is what it looks like around me, man, to be honest. Jeez. Yeah, um. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, done, I've done a bit of walking around, around these ends. What about these ends? Oh, then? <laughs> man, I was, yeah, I've done a hell of a lot of walking around these ends. <laughs> I, I live uh. in Birmingham, Isaac. This is basically where I live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm gonna put us back in the forest, man. I feel at home. I quite in the like forest this. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. I quite like this. So the idea here is that we're gonna take turns, and essentially, so let's say I go first here. I'm gonna take a card off the top here and flip it. This says illegal to legal. What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna click spin dial. So now uh, Nick, oh hold on, sometimes it messes up. I'm gonna click spin dial. So there's a yellow box around it. That means that I'm spinning. Nick cannot see where the uh, the numbers here are. I can't. And so no. basically now we have a spectrum with the left being illegal and the right being legal. And what I have to do is I have to give Nick a clue that is going to get him to guess where, the, like as close to the number four as possible. So um, I'll expose it to you here, Nick, where I'll click reveal, right? And so basically Nick will, will mm -hmm. not be able to see it. And then Nick is going to use these numbers here to move the dial. And I need to give him a clue. So if the dial was all the way down here, I would just need to give him, I would just say murder, right? Or right. treason, maybe, terrorism. Like the most illegal thing I could think of, right? Yeah, would be down yeah, on the left-hand yeah. side. Whereas if it was legal, I'd be like, paying your taxes, right? I'd be like, uh, yeah, 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 not breaking the law. I'd, you'd get something, you know, <laughs> a, a clue that is legal. It gets to interesting towards the middle because I have to give Nick a clue here for something that's like slightly illegal slightly more illegal but it's quite s in the middle right yeah so yeah. i've got to get into the mind of nick to decide where he thinks like what he thinks is just like ever so slightly illegal yeah you know? so like this one would be like uh listening to downloaded mp3s right or something <laughs> yeah, like that exactly, you know what i mean right? yeah <laughs> pirating the adobe suite that's like mm, exactly. it's, a, it's a little bit illegal it's a bit illegal like it's definitely against some terms but yeah. uh it's not like, you know, you're going to be in jail for, for life. For exactly, doing it, right? right, exactly. Or maybe uh, maybe speeding, you know, that's like, it's a little bit illegal, you know. I, I don't yeah. think you can get too yeah. specific with it. Um, like if I said driving 31 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone, like I think that's a bit too specific of a clue to give, <laughs> you know, because yes, that is illegal. You might do like one tick in the yeah, illegal yeah, section. Right. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Using WinRAR Win for free is a fantastic uh, that is very right good. That's a very good one. <laughs> That's, That's a, a little very bit, good one. <laughs> a little bit on the illegal side, right? Um, and then basically, uh, Nick, so like we've said, we're going to give the points here to the person giving the clue. So if Nick uh, guessed here, I'd get two points. If he guessed here, three. And if he guessed here, I would get four. Uh, yeah. The side as yeah. well. And then Nick would click spin dial. It would move again. And you get a new card as well. So every turn you can pick a new card over. Boom. Nature. Nurture. Vape. Doesn't vape. I don't know what you pick there. Usually, <laughs> oh, yes. the, usually the way it works when... Uh, with the board game version, the box I have here is that the cards are double sided. So what we can, mm -hmm. I think we can do the same thing here where uh, usually what happens is you get to pick which side of the card you go with, 
right? So basically, you get given... Okay. Uh, so these cards are all one-sided, not, not two-sided. But essentially, I think what we should do to make it more interesting so that you don't get lumped in with vapes and doesn't vapes, which you might be able to come up with a <laughs> clue for, I think what we can do is we can basically draw two cards and you get to pick... You know, I can give these to you. They're in your hand now. And so now yeah. I think if you flip those, I can't see them. Not that it matters if I see them, but I think basically... Oh, I do see them. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I think what we should do is we should give each player a choice of two cards so that they can, they can pick, pick which pick scale the they use. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that, yeah. That, that, sounds, that sounds good. Bingo. All right. Okay. Nick, would you like to go first or second? Um, I would like to go first. I'll okay. go first. Nick, go for it, man. Okay, so, so yeah, I'll, you got it. I'm going to pick out two cards. Um yeah, you got to do like a quick click. If you click and if you click too long, it pulls okay. off the, uh, oh, the, the pixel. Okay, I see. I yeah. see the whole the whole deck. Right, so I'm going to yeah. flip this, flip these. Okay, we've just seen it legal and legal, so I'm going to go with poorly made and well made. <laughs> okay, right. I'll put this one back in the deck then. Okay, so that's the scale. Poorly made on the left, well made on the right. If you click spin dial, Nick, yeah. it should. Now, uh, now I cannot can't see. see. Neither can the Twitch chain. Everyone is everyone is uh, is hidden. Yes. Okay. Oh. This is an interesting one. I'm going to go with... <laughs> I've got a sneaking suspicion we're not going to be on the same, way, same way wavelength for a lot of these <laughs> men. <laughs> um, ooh. It's tricky, right? Because you've got to get like a just new, at the right spot. A, a new build house in a nice area. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so you need to click reveal so that I can see so the... Uh, the... Right, so so now I click expose dial. That's right? correct. Yes, that's the one. It won't show okay. me. I I just see a blank yes. dial now. Yes. Okay. So you do we? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So Perfect. all the way on the left is poorly made. All the way on the right is well made. And you're saying a new built house in a nice area. So straight away, new built house, notoriously poorly made. Right. In People joke UK. that they're made of, yeah. of cardboard. Yeah. So yeah. newly built house, oh, but poorly made. What's what's really badly made? So like down here is like Nick oh, and Isaac oh, YouTube like videos. Context? Yeah. No, no, I'm not, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. can't give me context here, right? I've got to try and get into your mind and okay. figure out where okay. your context is, right? I'm just sitting so, back. Yeah, exactly, right? So this is like, you know, Nick and Isaac videos, really poorly made. And then, ooh, so my, my thought process is that they're, they're poorly made, but in a nice area makes me think they're somewhat better made. But I don't think that Nick would put them into the well-made category. I think Nick still kind of universally thinks that like, New build houses are somewhat poorly made, and so, but they're probably close to the middle. I'm gonna go here, man. Oh, <laughs> he's got, like right in the center. <laughs> yeah, we were like, we were basically on the same that wavelength there, good. man. Yeah, that we were pretty, pretty much good. on the same wavelength. I'll give you two points, there, man. Look at that. Two points. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, that was <laughs> it. Gave me something right in the middle. Yeah, so that was that was quite <laughs> difficult. Um, like the thing that's well, not I'll poorly made but not well made. Like what's just uh, made? Yeah, right. No, it's exactly. Just made. It's just, it is just made. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, very okay. good. All right. Also, okay. by the way, if the uh, if the, the 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 spinning thing lands and the number four is like cut off on both sides, it's so like you can see a bit of it on both sides, and you just spin again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, okay. I've uh, I've already spun, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick uh, my two cards here. Uh, let me do. Oh, we've had that one. That one goes there. Let's do, so we've got cheap to expensive, and we've got not a sandwich or sandwich. I've got to go with this one, man. I've got to go with yeah, this yeah. one. I don't know how the I would take this. sandwich one, it has to be. It has to be. I would take the card. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? It is a little bit awkward. Um, Does it R work? Rotate. Oh, no, it's Q and E. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Go. Of course it is. Okay. Nice. Right, 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 right. <laughs> here we go are you ready are you ready to get are you ready to rile up the commenters isaac i don't think they're going to be too riled up but maybe um not a sandwich to a cent which <laughs> i'm gonna go with um with risotto <laughs> risotto oh my lord right okay <laughs> Right, so we're so we're definitely we're definitely in the dumps here. <laughs> like, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go minimum, but then I'm gonna add 
like <laughs> two points for all the people who will argue that risotto is a sandwich, <laughs> right? <laughs> Hey! You got the four points. Let's go! Oh my goodness, he's got the he's got max. I um, oh, I, yeah, I thought one. it would be a bit cheap if I just said something that's like not even food. So I was like, you know, I figured, um, <laughs> you know, food would be sensible. Okay, so I got second, okay, uh, so small topic. I think that's supposed to say heavy topic. Heavy topic, yeah. And then boring, exciting. Oh man! I'm also happy for you to spin first and then pick if you'd like. If you think that's um, okay, yeah, maybe better. I'll do that. Okay, I'm gonna spin the dial. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna expose it, and okay. and then I, I'm gonna choose, and then I'm gonna expose it. Yeah. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm going to go with. Boring and exciting. Okay. And then I'm gonna expose the dial. Okay. Okay. Boring on okay. the left, exciting okay. on the right. So I'm going to go with uh, the state of UK politics. Ooh, the state of UK politics. Interesting. That's very interesting. I'm, I'm wondering how much Nick follows and how much I follow in UK politics. It's definitely a lot less exciting than it used to be. Things were crazy. Things were crazy. You know, Brexit, Boris, Truss. There was a lot going on. Recently, it's been, I think, a little bit more boring for sure. And not more so just depressing than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. It's unfortunate which, this wasn't an exciting which to depressing game. <laughs> um, <sighs> oh, that's interesting. I think it's been kind of boring, man. Like, Rishi's trying to get boats to not come here, but that's about it, man. And like, that's that's pretty boring stuff, I think. It's not all the way down here, you know, it's not Gordon Brown snoozer territory, but like, <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty boring, man. I don't know if we're on the same page at all, but like, I don't Nick, know either. Nick, Nick might be thinking like, you know, it's, you know, compared to how it used to be, it's more... Oh, but I'm 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 kind of thinking in the same region I was previously, man. But oh, is it exciting? I don't I, think it's I exciting. I really have to keep a straight face. You do. I don't think people think I really it's exciting. Have to keep a straight face. I, I've got to look over at you like this and and <laughs> <laughs> try and gauge sweat dripping from my brow. I think it's kind of boring. Oh, 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 oh. it was close, man. It was close. Oh. We were we were on a similar wavelength. I do we think were, it's a little bit boring. I thought you might have thought it was a bit a, more boring, it's man. A, it's a little bit boring. It's a little bit... I do follow it, I guess. Maybe yeah. that's why it's, yeah. it's less boring than <laughs> anticipated. Um, I'm getting shafted same, but... with these middle ones, man. Yeah, it's tricky, right? It's tricky. It's, it's easier oh. when... Um, when it's on, on an extreme. Right. Okay, what are my options here? My options are... Again, I keep tilting it. Small to tiny, which is an interesting oh, wow. uh, delineation okay. there. And then we have untalented to talented. Oh, okay. Goodness. Here we go. Okay. This is gonna be a good one. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't. Try, I shouldn't give out give away hints by laughing. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go for the one that I think is more difficult here. I'm gonna go for small to tiny. Because talented okay. to untalented, I think, is less okay. interesting. So small to <laughs> to tiny. What have I done to myself here? Small on the left, tiny on the right. Ooh. It's a little bit uh, counterintuitive, right? It is. T tiny should tiny should be on the on the left and small should be on the right in terms of scale. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I can't see where the thing's at right now, by the way. No, I, can't, I have no Nick, access. Nick cannot see. Ooh. <laughs> this is so difficult. <laughs> I'm going to go with like a single piece of, of Fusilli, Nick. Okay. And a I'm gonna single click piece of... <laughs> Oh, the problem is that that's a, that's no... a pasta, by the way. That's a little little twelve yes. pasta for those yes. unfamiliar. 
Um, <laughs> oh my god. The problem is there's what? no scale here, right? Yeah. Because what is small and what is t- is tiny? Like, so I'm going to say that on this extreme, tiny is like a subatomic particle, right? This, like a quark, is, like the smallest, specific. the smallest thing you could possibly imagine. And I'm going to go on small. It's small it's, is like a, a box flat in Japan, right? Which is very small, but it's not the smallest thing that exists. And then like. Here is like me, like m- as a person, <laughs> I'm very, I'm very small. Um, over here is maybe like the portion size that you get in like a Michelin star restaurant. Um, <laughs> it's getting close to tiny. <laughs> it was just getting close to tiny. A single piece of fusilli is not, I wouldn't call a, a single piece of fusilli tiny, right? But it's not big. Like it's like it's I wouldn't go and look at a piece of fusilli and be like, that's small. But it is in the grand scheme of things quite small. Um, I'm going to go like one click towards small. I'm going to reveal it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I thought it was pretty small, man. Like, oh! It's such a tricky. You are right. It's a tricky scale. It's like, very tricky scale. It's a very my, tricky scale. In my mind, like an apartment in Japan is is not small. Like it is small, obviously, but it's tricky in the yeah, small to tiny what, what scale. What is small, Isaac? It's That's a philosophical question. Like, yeah. In my mind, like you said, pasta, I thought we were on the... So Nick can't see me, by the way. So Nick, if no, I make, I've, I've closed Nick, the stream. Yeah, um, Nick can't see me. Yes. I can't see Nick. So, but um, yeah, it's tricky. I, I was thinking that... I guess pasta is kind of closer to tiny. I think this is a sensible guess. I think my, my clue was bad. But anyway, Nick, let's... Uh, Okay, okay, my sense. Similar to identical. Wow, these are these are really interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna now spin the dial. Okay. Casual event. Okay. Event. Do I make it easy or I'm hard? I'm gonna go. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the question. I'm gonna. You made it hard for yourself, man. I'm going to pick the harder one, which is similar and identical, which is a similar type of question. Um, oh wait, you're going similar. Yeah, you're going with that one. I'm going yeah. with this one. Yeah, which is a similar type of uh, deal that you had uh, oh, oh, earlier. Oh, 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 we got oh, it. I, oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, you got right, it. You got 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 it. Because my my options um, like for talented and untalented, coming up with somebody super untalented, too easy, right? Yeah, yeah. I'd have just said UK politics again, but um, but you know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to expose. Okay, so similar on the left and identical on the right. Okay, that's a tricky um, one. Ooh. Someone in chat said the uh, question okay. is: Are similar and identical similar or identical? <laughs> I think similar oh and identical Lord. are similar. No, I don't. Yeah, I, I would agree. I would agree. I would agree. Um, I'm going to go with. Oh, this is this is interesting because there's I, I, I'm in a bit of a rut because there's actually quite a few options to choose from. So I'm trying to. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, okay, I've got it. The reference one kilogram weight. The reference, so Nick's talking about like the. The thing they've got in like France. In like France, yeah, 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 I understand. The reference one kilo, I don't know how, I've I've picked something up, but I don't know how to get rid of it, that would delete, delete, delete. Okay, I, I messed around, Nick, I shouldn't have, I messed around and I found out. Um, <laughs> okay. So, so that, that has to be identical, right? That is the whole point of the reference. Like the idea is for some reason, like, I don't know if they do this anymore. I know they used to, um, like have like a reference one meter rod. And I assume they also mm. had a reference one kilogram weight. Um, I think these days they do it mathematically. Like they've, they've kind of mathematically do they do? figured yes. out the Yes, they've got the some stuff. kind of equation, don't they? But I assume that they might still have them for, you know remembrance sake um and in case all the mathematicians die and we need to know like how much is a kilogram weigh so th- the whole point is it has to be identical right like it has to be so my assumption here is that like it's it's not similar to a kilogram it is a kilogram that's the whole point i feel like 
I'm sorry, Nick. I feel like it's here. If it's not here, I'm going to be, yo, oh, let's go. Oh, yes. <laughs> let's go. Oh, let's man. Let's go. <laughs> I was like, what do I, what do I pick that's identical? I was going to say two one pound coins at first, but then I was like, what, what, like, that, what is really identical? Like it's, it's, yeah. it's almost max without being the truly max. Cause I think like, where that little number three is popping out, that's like the absolute maximum score you can give. Right. Yeah. So it's my, pretty much there. If you'd have said one pounds, I'd have probably got a bit higher. Because yeah. I'd have been thinking like, why oh, I, you know, I, they're I backtracked on that. Yeah. They have different years. Some of them have different pictures on them. You that's know. it. That's you could change it. the uh, the rotation amount by the looks of it here as well. If you really oh. want to get <laughs> precise. Oh, right. Imprecise. Oh, I see. It's like the increments, right? <laughs> yeah, interesting, right. Interesting. Okay. That's good, though. You're, on, uh, you're, okay. you're taking the lead, man. Good stuff. Good okay. stuff. Fragile, durable. Mental activity, physical activity. Ooh, it's a good one. Yeah, because some activities, are, they, they, they draw, they, they, they straddle the line, you know? Let's do this. Let's do mental activity, okay, physical, nice. activity physical activity. I think this is the harder one again, but we'll, we'll go for it. Okay. Right. Ooh. 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 <laughs> hmm. Hmm, mental activity, physical activity. Mental, physical. Mental on the left, physical on the right. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued with this one. I don't know how specific you're allowed to get. Um. <laughs> We we make up the rules. We make up the rules. We can get as specific as we want. <laughs> there is a rule book at the top, but we make up the rules. We, we, yeah, we, 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 don't, we don't consult that. We don't I, consult so that. So I said I don't know how specific we could get. Like, Nick, I'm going to just... Uh, the first thing that came to my mind, Nick, was pushing a large snowball up a hill. That's what came <laughs> to my mind. That's my clue, all right? If we really want to find out if we're on the same wavelength, that's my clue. Right. Very, very brain, brain, uh, brain activity consuming that, Isaac. <laughs> Right, okay. Um, please may you reveal oh, yes, my, of he, my you dial. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Right. <laughs> Pushing a snowball up a hill. I mean, you've got to obviously figure out what is uphill and downhill, which requires maybe like one increment <laughs> of brain, right? But I'm gonna like I'm gonna I'm gonna go. You like can you here, can change oh, I was gonna say you can change right? the increment if you need to be more specific, Nick, but here we go. I'm gonna go with five as the increment. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. And boom. Oh, Nick, we're oh, on the same wavelength, man. Oh, yes. We're on the same wavelength. So close to giving you maximum points. So, so close. close. So I'm adding a three there. Nice, there we go. nice, nice, nice. Very good. Very Someone good. Someone in the Twitch chat said standing on one leg for 10 minutes. That's probably pretty good as well, actually, in terms yeah. of... Um, Although there is a lot of mental activity there in terms of you have to convince yourself to keep standing. I right? guess. I was Even when it like, hurts. Yeah. Yeah, it's tricky because I guess like a lot of physical exercise also includes some mental, but um, mm -hmm. but no, the snowball was a good one though to make me go max to the right. Nice, I'm glad we're on the same wavelength. So we got bad, good, useless invention, useful oh, invention. Oh, I like the invention one actually. I like the invention one very much. Right, let me let me put this one on, uh, and we're gonna go do a little rotating. There we go, and I'm gonna spin the dial. Okay, Boom. I'm, I'm I'm blindfolded. I can also press B to to fully blindfold, but. It's uh, it's unnecessary. Okay. Useful and useless. Okay, okay, okay. This is going to be interesting. Um. <laughs> one of those, I don't know if you if you've seen them on YouTube, but one of those machines, those little trinkets that people build where they flick a switch and all they all that the machine does when they flick the switch is a little hand comes out and flicks flicks the switch <laughs> back, back off again i have seen this yes okay okay <laughs> so obviously reveal dial obviously that's the least <laughs> the most useless thing in existence right <laughs> um the only way it's possibly useful is if it's on a slight delay and you can pick the delay but you're saying you press the button, then a little hand comes out and turns it right back off again. So yeah, yeah, right. Um, 
yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be right. It's got to be maybe down here. It, so I'm, I'm going to go. It, it's got to be like here, man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think it's literally called a useless machine or something like that. <laughs> See, it was so, this, the wheel was, was actually like, I thought it was going to stop in maximum useful. And then yeah. it just went a little bit further and revealed maximum useless, which was uh, quite fun. No, I oh. like it. That's good, man. That's good. Okay. Very good. Very Bad good. Bad movie, good movie. That one's going to be oh. tricky. I don't know about our wavelength for that one. Centered, uncentered. Oh, man. These are good. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, it's tricky here because I think... Uncentered and centered is probably going to be easier. But mm -hmm. bad movie, good movie is probably going to really put to the test if we're on the same wavelength. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what yeah, we're trying yeah, to yeah. test. If we're trying to see if we're on yeah. the, the, the same wavelength. It's the name of the game. I said bad the movie, the good game. movie. Like, this is what I don't want to do because I don't <laughs> think we're going to be on the same wavelength. But Okay. But here we go. Let's, let's do it. Bad doing movie, it. good movie. It. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think of movies that we've both seen as well. Like what have I what have I what have I seen? What movies have I seen? Not many, as we've established. Yeah, yeah, same here. I mean, uh, if it's a movie that you think I I know of as well. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, that that will probably yeah, also yeah, of course, of course. suffice. You, you'll have a you'll have a, a an opinion about it if if nothing else. Mm -hmm. Um You seen the new Wonka movie, man? I've not. I know. I know. Hugh Grant is an Oompa Loompa. I really want to see it just because of that. Oh, yeah. I've, I've also not seen it, man. I've also not seen it. <laughs> but I, I have seen it's out. Okay. If, if, if and again, if this was like TV shows, it'd be even easier. But the good movie, bad movie. Oh, it's tr tough, isn't it? It's tough. It's tough. Oh, I'm, I'm really intrigued to see where this, where this dial is. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Oh. I'm trying to think of what I've... Oh, I mean, okay. <laughs> I'm going to go for the one I've one I've seen this year, Nick. I'm going to go for... No, am I? Ooh, we, he, he backtracks. Last second. <sighs> It's such a tricky thing to try and pick. The, 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 ooh. Ooh. Mm, mm hmm Yeah, I'm going to go with what I've seen this year, man. I'm going to go with, uh, with Oppenheimer. I don't know if you've seen it. I don't think you've seen it. I, don't, I haven't. Uh, I've got a funny I've seen enough uh, movies. thing about Oppenheimer where, like, um, I tried to see it like five times. Like I organized to see it like five times and some every single time something completely left field happened, which means that, <laughs> meant that I couldn't I couldn't see it on that particular day. Um see this is one of the go on, I'll, actually I'm not I'm not gonna say anything until you've you've picked here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna So I've heard the consensus that Oppenheimer is a very good movie, right? Me and Isaac have talked about Oppenheimer and he said he enjoyed Oppenheimer very much. However, um, he said that his girlfriend enjoyed it, but not maybe not quite as much as he enjoyed it. And also that it was very long. And th the last hour of the film was debatable in terms of how good it was. But Isaac enjoyed the last hour. I think probably because there was a lot of scientific stuff involved and, and Isaac kind of jumped with that. So I'm immediately thinking like quite, quite high right but then i have a feeling that in the past we've also agreed that all movies can't really the ceiling for how good a movie can be is lower than how good something like a tv show can be just because of the amount of information that can be conveyed in the amount of time in saying that this card does say bad movie and good movie not bad 
thing you can consume, like pic moving picture you can consume and good moving picture you can consume. So I think it's pretty high. Now Oppenheimer hasn't hasn't been crowned as like the best movie ever all of the time, right? But it is pretty high. In fact, here seems quite like quite a good place to put it. So I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, oh! see, my 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 trouble here Damn. that I was gonna go for is that like I could have said something like the Shawshank Redemption, which is a movie I've not seen. I don't know if it's a movie oh. you've seen. And like I could have gone like something. Have. I actually have oh, seen I've, that. I've not seen it, so I can't talk to it, right? And so I'm, yeah. I'm thinking I was picking movies that I've seen. Like obviously I could pick like the, the Godfather. I could just list the top five yeah, IMDB movies yeah. for the for the number one spot. But it's yeah, it's tricky, man. And that that's was, what I was, that was that was tricky. I should have gone higher. I should have gone higher. No, it's I, you, I, I remember you did you did say you enjoyed think, Oppenheimer a lot. I've not seen enough movies, man. I think um I don't think Oppenheimer is is this good of a movie. But like I also yes. can't think of a movie that's this good that I've seen. You've actually seen recently, <laughs> yeah. No, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's probably quite no, that's my bad. Um all right. Oh, this Nick. is this is a very interesting got, uh duo I have here. Mm. Okay, so I've got underrated weapon or overrated weapon. Or liberal and conservative. Okay, right. I'm going to spin the <laughs> dial before I pick. Okay. Um, you got this, man. Just you can pick liberal <laughs> conservative. Just name a politician. You know, easy. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> No, I, I kind of want to pick the weapons one. I mean, it's yeah. quite funny. Go for I'm going to pick the weapons one. That actually will make it harder for me. Okay. I'm going to expose the dial. Okay. Okay. AK-47. The AK-47. Interesting. It's interesting that you went with an actual weapon as well. I was thinking yeah. you were going to say, like, you know, Bathmat or something. Like, you know, just like a... I guess that could be an underrated weapon. That's um, true. That's true. So, Batman could be an underrated weapon. Yeah, you that's wait until true. your enemy's on it and then you just rip it out from under him and then yeah, that's it, they're done. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty dangerous. <laughs> you just hide under the bath and then as soon I was, as they I was trying to think back to my COD days, man. I was like, <laughs> what weapon falls into the category where that dial fell? Right. Um, so like the AK-47, I think Nick's, Nick's, Nick and I have both played a fair amount of Call of Duty in, the, in our days. Mm -hmm. I, in my mind, the AK-47 has never been like the best weapon in the game. But it's also never been like a garbage weapon either. I think it's been a pretty mid weapon. And I think that's maybe true in the real world. I actually don't know. Like, I don't think it's like a weapon that's used actively. I think it's probably kind of like, but so but this is not like bad to go. This is underrated, overrated. I mm -hmm, think the AK-47 mm -hmm. is probably in Nick's mind, somewhat overrated. Like it's very, like it's kind of iconic. It's it's um, used a lot, but probably not great. So I think... I don't know. Nick could be thinking it's a little underrated, but I, I think I'm, I'm leaning more towards this, like this area around here, this kind of quadrant of the uh, of the semicircle. I think Nick thinks it's a little bit overrated for what it is. I think Nick thinks the AK-47 goes here. Oh! He thinks it's super overrated. <laughs> oh man! Oh, I, I, I should have, I should have. I did really make it hard for myself by picking that card. I think because what is an overrated weapon? I went with the AK because it's, it's like the most famous, yeah, firearm in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. I don't actually think it's that it's good. It's the best. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, it's that's tricky. Man. Oh man! I'm trying to think. That was a toughie. What's the most that overrated weapon? That was tough. That was tough. We haven't we haven't got any points. I in think the it's gotta be a, a weapon here. that's like actively bad. Um I'm trying to think of what my most overrated weapon would be. Yeah, okay. Like what's something that's people saying Desert Eagle? I probably would have guessed the same for Desert Eagle, to be yeah, fair. I probably wouldn't have yeah. wouldn't have changed. I was gonna it. pick like maybe like the knife in Call of Duty or something, but then that's <laughs> <laughs> what, see where was it's it's so subjective right yeah no it maybe is maybe a sniper of some kind i don't know useless major useful major i'm gonna assume like we i don't i don't know if we have majors in the uk we assume like useless degree useless like degree. a degree yeah, yeah yeah uncontroversial hot topic controversial topic <laughs> okay fine fine good fine. very good very good very good <laughs> okay 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 Right. <laughs> I am going to say 
just 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 capitalism, Nick, is what I'm gonna say here. Oh, just capitalism. That's an interesting. That's an interesting. Interesting one, that. Um, yeah, I want to change the number there from one. I'm gonna change that to ten. Yeah. Okay. So, capitalism is a somewhat controversial topic, but it's definitely not in this zone here, right? Like, this zone is, like, active, like, live conflict going on that's devising the entire world. Um, and then maybe in, like, the the second part, third of this, like, half zone here is, like, the hot topics and culture and stuff like that. Some of which is capitalism. But, so capitalism, I think, is definitely on the right side of this, of this spectrum. Or is it? Because some people can argue that it's also quite uncontroversial. Maybe capitalists would argue that. Are we capitalists? I would say we are. It's giving me middle vibes, but with like, maybe like a, if I give this 15 points, like one tick of contro controversy. Yo, Ooh. pretty close, man. Pretty close. You got pretty points. Pretty close. Points. I did. I you were oh, you were bang on. You were man. like, I think it's around here, and you were holding your cursor exactly where it was, <laughs> and then you started talking yourself over to the left. Like, I agree with you. It's tricky that like the system that governs our lives. How can it be controversial? Like, it's just yeah, what it is. right. But it but it is right. But it's not. It's but definitely yeah, not no, in the, the middle. The concept of capitalism does uh, does spark debate. I was oh, trying to think, man. what can I put? Yeah, right yeah, that's good. That's good. That was a good. Good one. What a pretty a similar one. wavelength. I like it. Yeah, yeah. And we're, we're, we're equal. We're tied on points Ooh, as well right now. Look at that. Okay. Optional mandatory. Sport game. Sport Ooh, oh, my Lord. Okay. That's very interesting. Yeah. I'm going to spin the dial okay. before I pick. Okay. I'm in the dark. I can't see anything, Nick. It's all gone. Okay, I'm going to pick sport game. I think it's a better topic. Yeah, I especially agree. for what what has what is what I've been shown. Yep. Okay, okay, I'm going to expose the dial. Table tennis. Ooh. Okay. So in my mind, in my mind, what is the most the most gamey game? that's not a sport has to be like what we're doing now, right? Wavelength mm -hmm. has got to be like, it's a, it's definitely a game. This is not a sport, I don't think, right? Like, because you get closer to mental, like as the mental uh, like requirement increases, the closer I think people generally agree that it becomes a sport. So like chess, people, some, some people think chess is a sport. Um, there's esports, right, for video games, for, for competitive games. Yeah. So I think as you yeah. get closer, the, as the mental uh, requirement goes up, it becomes more sporty. So the, the most gamey game has got to be a game that requires no mental, uh, like, attuity at all. Um, maybe, like, those coin machines where you put a coin in and it kind of falls down, you've got to time it, and then you, it pushes you're, you're coins like forward. Like a chance space thing, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. The lottery, maybe, is, like, a mm -hmm. game. It's not a sport, you know. Uh, if you're playing roulette, maybe is the ultimate game. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Even though, I don't even think I call it a game if you can't, if there's no way to strategize. Like, I don't think, no, if it's even a game. Yeah, like, like the casino will call it a game, but that's probably psychological, right? It's I think not, so. Like, I don't know if I think yeah. the lottery is a game. I think no, it's just, a, no. it's, you're just gambling. Yeah, um, exactly. You said table tennis. Mm -hmm, I did. Which is definitely a sport. So it's got to be on the left side. But I think in Nick's mind, as well as in mine, no offense to any table tennises on, on in the in the audience. It's not like a an, an extreme sport. It's not, you know. It's not on the on the far left of the spectrum, I don't think. Which is interesting. Mm -hmm. I feel like for the most part, in my mind at least here, this is basically just a um a, a dial that's like least um Physically demanding to most physically demanding. I feel like the more physically demanding it is, the more of a spot it is, which I don't think is accurate. But like that's where my mind's going. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To be honest, and I think that's also why people, the, the general populace, might land because again, the, the only reason you would call chess not a spot is is because you think there's no physical aspect to it. 
So clearly the physics is what, um, or the physical physicality is what, what draws us there. So I'm thinking like here-ish, you know, all the way down on the left, we've got things that are definitely sports. And then as we move back up, we've got things that are like lesser sports, maybe. I don't know what would be a lesser sport though. Cause I'm thinking like big sports are definitely like just the sports that everyone agrees with, right? Like I, I think football has to be down on the sports side because it's a sport, right? It's not the most physical demanding sport, I don't think, but like, it's definitely a sport. And then you move up and I'm like, is, is tennis like further up here? Does that have like, is that less of a sport than, than football? Probably not, but like, you've got to kind of force yourself onto a scale. And I'm like, and then, and then it's like- That's the problem with it, right? <laughs> it's, it's like, got it. You've got to put things on a scale. Right. And then if, if tennis is like up here, is then like badminton is like, like here, maybe table tennis is like around here-ish. I'm going to go down to, let's let's go down to, to two on the increments here. Where would darts be? Darts is an interesting one. Darts, I think is kind of like, I think darts is a sport. I think it's just over the line into sport though. Um. I think table tennis is right here. Yo! Oh, 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 let's go! Oh, let's go! <laughs> nice! Oh, yeah. I'll take that. I'm taking that. Oh, that was, that was, a, that was the same oh, wavelength. Man, it's um, same it's wavelength. exhilarating, man, when you that get the is, right that answer. Is, that was good. That was very good. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Okay. <laughs> oh. We're on the same wavelength, man. This is me. Okay. Very Uncle good. Very cool. good. Dictatorship. The democracy. Jeez. Um, I'm too old to know what's cool and uncool these days. Man. No, are you telling me, man? Honestly, yeah, fair. <laughs> um, but then this one, this one's going further around on the controversial spectrum on the, you know, uncontroversial to controversial side of the, on the, mm -hmm. of the, the wheel. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'm going to go for it, man. He's, he's That's what doing we do it, he's here. doing it. Okay, here we go. Here we I'm just going to hope I don't get something on like the, oh, okay, right. Um, tricky um let's go with also depends on just like the the, the oh you, you picked a hard one for yourself here. i have i have i've needlessly picked a hard one um <laughs> Someone on the Twitch chat just said, let's get spicy. Um, let's go with Oh, it's so tricky to pick one that's gonna be in this section. I am going to go with And it's also like you, you can't offend anybody. <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Hungary as the country that I pick here, Nick. Hungary. Okay, 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 okay. So, first of all, <laughs> if you uh, if you reveal the wheel. Oh yeah, of course. Here you go. I um, the fact that it was so hard to pick means that it must lie in this central space, right? Because if it went straight democracy, I feel like you could find examples of that quite quick. Even towards like this part of democracy, probably still quite quickly to be able, to, quite quickly be able to find examples. If you've got straight dictatorship, or even again this quarter of dictatorship, that you probably would also be able to quite easily find um, examples. The fact that it was so hard means it must be in here. Hungary, I believe, is a democracy. I think. Um, I also believe Hungary has, or at least has had, slightly more like kind of right wing um, governance. Um, so I'm kind of thinking like this zone, right? This zone here. It could even be bang in the middle, to be honest. It could be bang in the middle. Because it's like, it's Hungary, isn't it? I'm going to go with like, I'm going to change my increment to like 10. Do I go here? Do I even go to like five and go like there? 
I'm going to do it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! I needed, I needed to check I was correct. I do see an article here so from, the, from the European Parliament. It says MEPs Hungary can no longer be considered a full democracy. So, I mean, oh, I, see. I think right, we've had okay. some controversial stuff going on. Apologies. Right, uh, I see. So I was Hungarians, just but, less informed. Yeah, that, it's tricky because though, right? Good, like, that's a good, uh, that's a good I'm, I'm thing trying to then. think of like who, like obviously if you go, you know, North Korea, you can go real far out. I, exactly, as soon as right. I gave my answer though, I feel like I could have gone, like my mind instantly goes to countries, but I feel like I could have picked like a non-country. I could have said like yeah. a workplace, you know? Which is yeah, like yeah, kind of mildly, true, you know, true. dictatorship y. It's not really a democracy if you work in yeah, McDonald's, right? Yeah, but yeah. it's not a full dictatorship, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> but that's a, that's a very good almost, that's a very good point, actually. Almost two points, man. Almost. almost. So close. So, so close. close. So, close. so right. close. Okay, right. Normal greeting, weird greeting. <laughs> Bad habit, oh, good habit. <laughs> these are both brilliant. These are both very good. Right, okay. I'm going to spin the dial. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm going to go with normal greeting, weird greeting. This is an interesting choice, but yeah, okay, go for it. I'm going to expose the tile. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, I come up to you, mm-hmm. right? Uh, like, Or maybe you, yeah, like I come up to you and I'm like, <laughs> hey man. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> that exact tone. In that exact no, no, yeah, no, I understand. I understand. I understand. Identical so, delivery. So, like, the the words that you're saying are definitely like kind of somewhat normal, but the way you're saying it is weird <laughs> as hell. So. <laughs> Like, I feel uh, like all the way on this side, you've probably got, like, you know... Hello, so, hi. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know, you all right? Something like that. Whereas, like, over on this side, you've got somebody walking up to you and, you know, asking if you sell pictures of your feet online as the opening intro, right? So, yeah, yeah. I, um, I think... I think... <laughs> I think that this is a little weird. I think this is basically, like... Oh, oh, very good, very good, oh. very good. Have I like scraped three there? Yeah, I'll give you three for that. I think I have. Though. I think I might have just done just about <laughs> scraped three. Oh man, yeah, we're on the weird side, but it, it could it could be weirder. It definitely could be weirder. Yeah, no, your delivery was definitely weird. Bad superpower, good superpower. Bad school, good school. I've oh, no idea about good school stuff. <laughs> Um, okay. Right. Okay. Um. Ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to go bad superpower, good superpower here. Yeah, I think that's definitely the superior. All I can think of is... superior cars here. Like Hogwarts in terms of, um, <laughs> bad school, good school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, what schools people know about. Um, bad superpower, good superpower. I am going to say... Flight. Ooh, okay. The power of flight. Okay, so if we create a scale here, like if we go super, super bad, right? Like over here. Um, that it's would be worst. like extreme. You like you're really, really good at smelling, right? Like extreme <laughs> smells, <laughs> but it's not selective. All smells are amplified, right? Right, I so see. So you're out there. You might you might be walking in a forest and then someone's walking their dog and you might just be like dying, right? Yeah. Dogs just, just pooped everywhere. I feel like that's actually... Um, like, at that point, that's actively an anti-power. Just enhanced right. smell. Ultra-enhanced yeah, exactly. smell is an anti-power. That's not even a yeah. superpower, man. <laughs> it's... it's, it's, uh, it's Yeah, exactly. It's just a... It's a, it's a hindrance. You probably walk around um, with your nose clipped just so that you got like plugged. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's, it. It, you'd rather not have it at all, right? Yeah. Um... Good superpower is like everyone. I think everyone fairly unanimously agrees that teleportation is quite high, right? Because it means you can just appear anywhere you want. Yep. And that's great. That's yep. brilliant. Um, 
over like here might be like you can read people's minds because um it's it's quite the superpower but you probably regret having the ability to do that sure. um in the middle <clears throat> we'd probably pick like i don't know like invisibility because yeah that's cool but then after like it just becomes old quite quickly and then a bit stupid um, it's also a tricky one like you know do the things you touch turn invisible or do you have to go around true. naked yeah it could to also be, be invisible hindrance. right yeah it could also be a hindrance um flight is pretty good flight is definitely on this side um but if you actually think about it flight might sometimes be a bit unnecessary or stupid right like yeah you could fly everywhere but what if it was really cold outside and the weather was bad what if you wanted to go cross continental and it took you 10 hours right um i think it's definitely something that's really cool and good and like you know you could just kind of hop between local places very easily so i'm th i'm gonna go like it's somewhere like here in this area because it's definitely a good superpower but it's not the best i think here is pretty good i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with with, with that area let's go oh! is that are we in? I think you get the two. I oh, think you know, you get we're, the two. we're fully into that, man. Yeah, we're fully Yeah, in. you Let's get go. the two. You get the two. You get the okay. two. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, what's a good superpower? You know, obviously. Flight's a good superpower. Yeah, Flight's I think a good so. Superpower. All the way yeah. on the right, maybe, like, the ability to to uh, change the balance in your bank account at will. <laughs> yeah, right. Or, like, cure cancer <laughs> on touch or something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe. Okay. Probably this is good. good. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, also, real quick, I need to. Someone's made a clip of this, uh, of your intro nick i need to i need to listen to it so give me give me, give me just a second here <laughs> i need to uh i need to know to bring it up uh, hey man what's up <laughs> uh, hey man what's up <laughs> You just put that clip at the beginning of the video. Yeah, hey, that's brilliant. That's, that's oh, fantastic. Very good. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that exists on the internet now. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, oh, Ooh, but because the movie was better. In a similar vein here, man. I'm going to go with the book and movie one. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm going to interesting spin the dial. Interesting. Book was better, movie was better. Oh, could be controversial as well, depending on what this um, could what be here. controversial. You know, this could be controversial. Right, I need to like uh, I'll turn the exposure on. Um, I need to check. You okay, do some googling, man. There's if no... something was, if if like if the thing that I have in mind was based on the on a book, <laughs> right? Is Finding Nemo based on book? <laughs> exactly. <mark>. Exactly. <laughs> There you go for it. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> I I believe this might be. Okay. Hmm. Okay. What I had in mind was not based. Oh. On a book. You'll have to tell us afterwards what was uh, I what will have to tell of. you afterwards. And then the second one I have in mind, like where where my my dial landed, it wouldn't it wouldn't fit. I see. Right. Yeah. That's unfortunate, man. I need oh, to be able to move the dial. I need to be able to move the dial. Hmm. <clears throat> this is very interesting. This is very very interesting. I'm gonna go with, and I am stretching the rules here. <laughs> Right. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go with, and this might be controversial, Game of Thrones. I know okay. it wasn't a movie. Okay, but... you know, I understand. That, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. So that's interesting. I that is perfect for me, Nick, because I have neither read the book. You have neither nor read the book seen nor the TV seen the. Show. Okay, and I, I, I knew that going into this. Yeah. Right. So, without any input from Nick, my assumption here is that. From what I've heard, and this is usually the case, people think the books are better than the than the show, uh, than the movies, like uh, usually the case. And I think that's also true for Game of Thrones. I think people who have done both prefer the books. Always, like, and you can just fit more into a book, right? Nick was talking earlier about how we, uh, we we maybe think TV shows are better than movies because movies have a limited long time. There's only so much they can, you can get into a, you know, 
maximum three hour movie, whereas, you know, a 10 hour miniseries is, uh, you can fit so much more, more, more into it, right? So I think people are going to prefer the books to the TV show, especially given that people hate the last season. People are like, this sucks. And uh, good old Mr. Martin has the uh, the benefit of having to to live up to that because he's not released the last book yet, right? So his ending of the of the tale has yet to be told. So I think in people's minds, at least, it's better. So I think Nick is on this side. I think he's in this this left half. I don't think he's all the way on the far left. I don't think he's thinking like the TV show is like, the books are like way better and the TV show is garbage. I know Nick likes Game of Thrones. You know, he's out here watching Hot D because he can't get enough of the, mm-hmm, of the Game of mm-hmm, Thrones. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. so I think he thinks that it's like slightly better. I am going to lower my interval here. I think that Nick thinks that Game of Thrones, the book is better. A Song of Ice and Fire is going to go here. No! Oh, he thinks the show's way terrible, <laughs> terrible round for me. It was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> oh, man. I was just, uh, I thought, I, I, I've never read books. Everyone's pretty much just watch the tea. I think the more that that round went on as you were you were like explaining your answer yeah the more I realized how how bad my example that's, was that's always the case like when I you know when you start talking about superheroes <laughs> I was like oh no and when you start talking oh. about movies and I had mine all the way to the other side it's like whoops okay well oh no oh no see my first one was gonna be Star Wars Sure, which because is because everyone's book, watched the Star Wars movies, and there's. And I, I did think that Star Wars was based off of a book. Right? But Star Wars, Star Wars is tricky as well, because I think there's such a. It's been going for such a long time. There's such a mixed consensus, right? People love yeah, the that's first also couple of movies. True. That's also true. Yeah. Then they yeah. dislike the prequels. The prequels, and then I think they kind of liked the first of the new trilogy. But then as the new trilogy went on, people really don't like it. Really people hate the Last like Jedi. It. Yeah, yeah. And then all uh, the stuff that's coming out now that's just like nonstop Star Wars. I think people are kind of fatigued. So that would right. be a good one, I think. Yeah, not and I like. personally actually really like the prequels, so it is very subjective. Um, and I've not seen any of them, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> Dark Light benefits you, benefits everybody. This is oh, I'm interested in this benefits you, benefits everybody kind of scenario, which I'm going to go for. This one this is definitely the trickiest one, you know. It is. Um, I could the Dark Light is definitely easier, but uh, benefits you, benefits everyone. It's, it's an interesting scale because I feel like it's not a scale... <laughs> Um. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Benefits me, benefits everyone. Um, okay. I'm going to say... Buses. I'm going to reveal okay, the dark. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. So, um... The buses, you know. So I'm going to go with, like, a public transport kind of vibe, kind of scale here. So benefits you would be, like... A private jet right and then we kind of go further along and we go to like charters uh then we go to the next and it's maybe like taxis and then to the next it's maybe like it's like having having a car um or maybe like not taxis but like a personal driver and then having a car and then taxis and then trains and then buses like buses benefits a lot of people i think we're on this side for sure we're on the right half um buses are very beneficial they're not beneficial everywhere because they're not everywhere um man i feel like we're like we're within the uh if i change that to uh yeah if you change that to 15 we're kind of within like between here and between here i think we're in this zone because buses benefit a lot of people but they're not perfect. They're on a similar level to trains. They're like local trains, aren't they? Um, very local trains. Uh, but buses are a flipping pain in the ass sometimes as well. Uh, if you don't live in like central London where they're amazing. 
Hmm. Buses, buses, buses. But then buses is... Buses don't benefit everyone. Like, sometimes they are pretty, pretty terrible. Oh, is it even more this side? I'm going to go with, like, there, like, right there. Oh! Uh, see, you, we were on different oh. wavelengths here, man. <laughs> we were on different wavelengths. <laughs> well, you started giving a public transport thing, and you put cars, like, here. And I was like, having a car, that only benefits me. In my mind, that's all the way down here if I have a car, right? Oh, man. Like, our personal driver you had, like, here. I was like, again, that's only me. I'm thinking, on, like, the universal scale, I don't really use buses, yeah. right? But I think buses yeah. kind of benefit everybody, right? The more people yeah. who ride the bus, the less congested the roads are. You know, the the quicker people get around. Like, I, I think buses benefit. On, oh, on the benefits man. me to benefits everyone scale, I think buses benefit everyone. Mm. I think there is, like, I guess you could have picked public transport that maybe more effectively benefits everybody than benefits just some. But, like, I don't know, man. Buses is I think, buses um, there. Right, okay. Oh, I think, I think I think buses usually benefit everyone, but I feel yeah, I feel like <sighs> I feel like you're right. I feel like you're right. I should have picked higher. Picked nah. a bit higher. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Not hot enough. Oh, these are good. Right, here we go. Let's spin the dial. Replaceable, irreplaceable. Oh man. Oh, what do I pick here? I'm going to go with not art and art. Okay. Okay. Could be controversial. And I'm going to pick something that's like a visual piece. Right? Okay. Actually. Just as so long as you don't say like NFTs. <laughs> I was thinking of saying NFTs <laughs> at, at the beginning. Um, but but some NFTs are very artistic. So yeah, true. I... I uh, I, I guess I guess that that's not like something that could. The NFT is the like right? var There's variation of NFT. Exactly, exactly. It's thing, like right? saying uh, canvas, canvas, like movies. Or, yeah, yeah, or something. Like yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's the thing. Do I go with something visual? Or do I go with something? We got we got to try see if on the same wavelength, yeah. man. You gotta we gotta try to see if we're on the same wavelength. Okay. Um, Hmm, let's go with. Bananas. <laughs> okay, right. I mean, of all the fruits, bananas are probably like, so if I did what Nick did in the last episode, the last session, um, the last guess, and change this to a fruit scale, where this is the least artistic fruit and the most artistic fruit. I think bananas are pretty artistic fruits in the grand scheme of things. You know, grapes are kind of boring, but bananas, they've got that lovely curve to them. They've got that bright yellow color. So I kind of think, you know, bananas could be uh, could be pretty artistic. A lot of art is of bananas. So you'll, like, you'll see people drawing bowls of fruit quite regularly. I think bananas are not art. They're bananas. But I think as far as not art goes, they're pretty artistic. So I am going to go... Here. Oh. <laughs> oh. See, here's the problem, right? Uh, I was trying to go with your wavelength because you would just be like, bananas aren't art. But then you were trying to go with my wavelength, which is like, Nick, Nick could say that bananas are art, <laughs> but they're not that artistic of a fruit. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we both like no. veered. <laughs> in the opposite directions there. <laughs> we both tried too hard to to, to, to get on the right wavelength. We did. We tried too hard. Oh, no. Okay, so we got forbidden and encouraged. I like that. Stationary and mobile. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. Um, obviously, I'm going to go for forbidden. Of course. Yes, of course. Of course. Right. Yes, so. Okay, so forbidden on the left and encouraged on the right. Um... He's I thinking. I'm gonna go with I'm 
I'm going to go with burglary. <laughs> Oh, right. Okay. So burglary burglary is very forbidden. (laughs) Like it is extremely forbidden. Now, what I've got to try and figure out here is, has Isaac gone like just on the forbidden encouraged scale where like burglary is something that is strictly forbidden? There is no... There is no jurisdiction, jurisdiction, right, that we know of where it would be encouraged, right? So it is just max forbidden. Or has he kind of gone, well, burglary is 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 this much forbidden, but like if you're, I don't know, like Oliver Twist and you need food, somewhat kind of fair enough. And then like over here is like mass murder, right? That's what I need to try and figure out. Now I could hedge by going like here or like here. It depends where that wheel has has gone. Where the wheel was spun. Oh, man. Oh, uh, burglary is forbidden. I mean, in all of the previous guesses, I, Isaac's been very literal with his answers. Like, burglary should be here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to hit the thing. Actually, I'll go one increment up. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the thing. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't no. know, man. I feel like I've always been like... With the extremes, I'm thinking forbidden is genocide, not burglary. (laughs) (laughs) It is very forbidden. Genocide. Both of them. Yeah, I guess very forbidden. forbidden. Well, burglary is not allowed, but people do it all the time. I don't know if I'd call it forbidden. Forbidden is a strong word. (laughs) Oh, Oh, man. Oh. Oh. You've oh got my soft, Lord. hard, happens slowly, happens suddenly, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going with soft and hard. <laughs> okay. Right, Dar's getting exposed. Right. Human beings. Human beings are pretty soft, man. Um, I mean, some parts of them are hard. You know, bones. Um... Skulls, skeletons, uh, those are all kind of bones. Um, you know, the older generation will tell you that humans these days are real soft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they used to be harder. Snowflake soft. Yeah, back in back in their day. Back in their um, day. Humans, but like on, on the food chain, humans are, are pretty hard hard creatures, you know. Not, not many animals want to mess with a human, right? You know, you see yeah, those you've foxes out about figure the, the out like what kind of scale I've used here. Like, no, I that's the what thing. I mean, so yeah. I'm thinking my, my first thought, and what I think is also Nick's first thought, is not like emotionally resilient and not like territorially soft and hard, like from the animal kingdom perspective. I think Nick is thinking hard and soft from like a physical. My my first thought is physical matter, right? I'm thinking mm-hmm, all the way on the mm-hmm. right hand side here, you've got the hardest material known to mankind. You've got like carbon enriched diamond or something that's like yeah, ultra, yeah, ultra yeah. hard. And then over on the left hand side, you've got the softest, you know, matter in the galaxy, right? Which is like the, the puddings that they feed old people when they can't chew anymore. So like, I think that's my scale on that scale. I, I, I think try to get in Nick's head a little bit. I think humans are probably somewhere in the middle like this because you know, humans, obesity is on the rise. Humans are pretty soft comparatively. And so, mm-hmm. but then their bones are hard, right? And so it's like cartilage. And so I think Nick is putting the humans to the middle of the scale. I think humans are here. Oh, Ooh. Nick thinks they're softer. Kind of the opposite flip side of that scale. We meet bags, aren't we? We're just bags of meat. Walking, talking, <laughs> pretty, bags of meat. We're pretty hard bags of meat, though, man. Like We are hard bags, but we're still, we are still bags of meat. And I, I did in- introduce a little bit of emotion into my overall Oh, score, I see. Like You're thinking 66, the softness. 33, I see, right? I see, I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, thinks... you couldn't have... You, that was for you to guess. <laughs> no, yeah, no we're, we're trying to me. figure out if we're on the same wavelength, right? Gosh, little known fact, well known fact is such a good clue, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to give one. (laughs) Okay. I'm intrigued to what what, what happens here. (laughs) Okay, fine. Uh, Let's do um, this. We're going to go with little known fact, well known fact. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Um. Little known fact. Well known fact. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna give you a fact, Nick. Right? I'm mm -hmm. gonna I'm gonna tell you a fact. And then that, that will be my my um Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. My 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 clue, okay. Um Nick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you know? Did you know? <laughs> I did. I did. Did you know? Fun thing. Did you know? That Google was founded in 2001. Um, maybe. I maybe knew that. So we're going with like a a little known fact, I assume. Uh, if you reveal the uh, the the wheel, oh yeah. Sure. Um, so if I if I change this, so we're going like onto this spectrum now. This here would be like a brain surgeon's like specific like syllabus on a module <laughs> of what they know, right? Or like you know, uh, information about the rear left hind legs muscle sinew makeup of a frog right <laughs> <laughs> over on like this side we've got like the sky is blue <laughs> right death and taxes right <laughs> um over here we've probably got like what a lot like i don't know um the the tax the income tax bans in your respective country or something like that right where like uh, a lot of people know but there's like kids and stuff i don't know and people who, who may not fully understand it i don't know or maybe let's go with like the capital gains tax bans where like it doesn't even apply to some people google being found in 2001 is is we're definitely on like this side right we're like in this area here i mean i'm a techie guy i forgot or didn't know that google was founded in 2001 i know they were founded kind of in, in that time so i'm we're, i'm thinking like here right maybe even a bit further down maybe not that further down because we're going to like ultra specialist knowledge here but the, this is like a question that would be asked in mastermind and mastermind is a show that is all about people knowing completely obscure things so i'm in this area i might even go here no, I'm going to stick with the here. Yeah, we're oh! off, man. <laughs> it's so hard like to think of a fact oh. that's like middle known. I, like, oh. I did, like, it turns out I'm wrong. It looks like Google was 98. I took a guess. But, right. <laughs> which obviously makes it a bad fact. But all I could think of was like, did you know that the, the human body is like 75% was or something, which is also a guess. I don't know the actual percentage. But I feel like that's like one of those facts that's well known. So yeah, trying to like... Yeah. Yeah. Trying to like figure out it's a figuring medium out the spectrum, spectrum, right? Because I feel it's like if so you'd have, hard. if we'd have flipped this and you'd have said the 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 high band capital gains tax rate, I'd have put it in the same place you did, like on right. this far yeah, left side. Nobody knows thing. what the capital gains that's tax the, rates are. That's the thing. Ninety eight percent of thing. people don't deal with capital gains, so they wouldn't know. It, <laughs> it, it goes to show like how much we set our biases based on what yeah. we know. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Like, um, I, I would have thought, like, I just picked Google as, like, a popular com company. I would have thought that, like, that's the kind of, because I, I agree with you that down here is, like, ultra specialized. I can't believe you put, like, the hind legs of, you know, tarporeal frogs down here, and then you put founding of Google here. That was madness. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're equally ultra specialized. This thing, you need, like, 50 years of experience and training to get to. And you're like, yeah. Finding of Google seems like about two ticks above that. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like man. the kind of fact that you'd hear on like QI or something is probably like kind of in this radius, yeah, right? right? Like the general exactly. spectrum radius. Exactly. And I feel like the founding of Google might be like 
here-ish. I might have done it a bit off, but like, I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> anyway, here we go. You've got uh, unsexy Pokemon, sexy Pokemon. Oh, man. I don't know. And then know. you've got oh. underrated, overrated. Right, I'm going to spit it. I'm going to spit it. You can now, always I don't just know. Take, a, take a Google man of the Pokemons. Yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Oh, okay. All right. No, I'm going to do the Pokemon one. Okay. I think Isaac knows more about Pokemon than me. I never ever played Pokemon. Um, I've only played one Pokemon goes. game. It was on the Game Boy. It's been a while. Okay. I'm going to go with Pikachu. Okay. Uh, so, based on the fact that Nick does not know Pokemon, I think Nick is comedically stating that Pokemon is a... Pikachu is a very sexy Pokemon. So, I think, like, you know, we've got a scale... And on the left here, you've probably got, I was going to say Snorlax, you know, but Snorlax, he's got that teddy bear thing going on that some people are into. You know, they like the big the big cuddly guys who just sleep all the time. So I think Snorlax might be a little bit higher up. Um, down here, you've got like, what, maybe the mole Pokemon? <laughs> and then like over here, what's all the way on the far side? I don't know. I, I, I think down here, you've maybe got like the, the mole Pokemon. I don't know enough Pokemon to know, but then maybe you've got like, there's like the, the the Pokemon that's just like a cloud of noxious gas. Like he's probably like around here. <laughs> yeah, right. Up here, you've maybe got like Abra. He looks like a little bit of a weirdo. You know, he's just kind of hanging out doing his thing. <laughs> yeah, Mewtwo probably in a similar radius. They kind of look similar, God, right? There are some weird Pokemon, aren't there? Oh and then as you Lord. get to the middle, it's weird to rank them on sexiness. I'm thinking more cuteness. Like you've got like Eve. Eve, Eve is like the little little fox looking Yeah, Oh, yeah, I see Eevee on this list here. Yeah, maybe in the middle. Little cute pet fox. Um, And then you've got like Jigglypuff, maybe? Is is that more of a sexy Pokemon? <laughs> Jigglypuff is max size. <laughs> just a pink ball of fluff. Um, <laughs> I don't think Pikachu is that sexy of a Pokemon, to be honest. Like, the lightning tail bolt. <sighs> so I think comedically it could be here, but I think factually it might be, like, just dead center, like a mediumly sexy Pokemon. Yes! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to, I, it was such an average area, so yep. I just picked the most average Pokemon I could think of. <laughs> nice, I like it. Oh. Bad pizza topping, I mean, Nick, let's Oh, be yeah, let's come on. Be yeah, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. I've got to get into Nick's head. Because I had an answer in mind, and that answer's not going to work because of Nick's head. <laughs> <laughs> this thing here. Right here, this. Yeah. This, this stops Isaac from giving it an instant answer. Oh. I'm going to say, I'm going to, oh, I've got, I got a couple in mind, Nick, but I am going to say chicken. Okay. I think that chicken on pizza is kind of terrible. Um, See, I was I was going to expect Isaac to go with like his head. So in Isaac's head, like here would be like pineapple, <laughs> right like, off the scale, <laughs> and then over here would be like I don't know, maybe like chicken because chicken's pretty bad. I don't know. Um, and then I think I I was like, oh, if he's if what if he got like what if he got like I don't know here or something? Would he pick anchovies? Does he know that I don't think anchovies are that great on pizza? Does he like anchovies on pizza? But I think chicken on pizza is kind of naff. It's not awful. It's definitely not the worst topping. I think there are worse toppings than chicken. But it's it's not great. It's always a bit... It's the same type of chicken that you get in sandwiches. Kind of dry. Kind of artificial tasting. Not seasoned very well. Bit stale. It's not great. Now again, we've got we've got like so Isaac's been going with like what he thinks my preference is. So for me, like here is all like the salamis and the pepperonis and all that stuff, right? And the uh things like, you know, peppers and olives and you know all the good stuff, like all the nice veggies and bits, but chicken is not great. So I think he's kind of picked kind of this this area here, maybe. 
I'm going to go with like here. Because it is, it's, it's, it's less than bang average. Oh! oh! See, my thought, right. So, oh, we're, we're, so close. We're kind of on the same wavelength. I'm thinking like pepperoni, top tier topping, right? Yeah, yeah. And like, if it would have been bottom tier, I would have probably said like anchovies, right? Because I'm also mm. thinking, I'm also factoring in like universal acclaim, right? Mm -hmm. um, I yes, could have said, yeah, sure. Do you know sure. what I mean? Like universally, uh, uh, anchovies are not loved on pizza. Um, mm -hmm. I think they're fine. I wouldn't order them, but like I wouldn't not eat a pizza because of it. Yeah. My initial, I was initially going to say mushrooms because mushrooms are a surprisingly popular UK pizza topping. Like a lot of they people are. put them on their pizza, but I think they're kind of just fine. But then I know you don't yes, like same. mushrooms. So I'm thinking no, Nick's really. going to push mushrooms down. Then I was thinking about other stuff. I'm like, you know, onion maybe. I think onion's kind of on the good side though. I think onion would have been like, just past the good yeah, side of this this maybe. range. And then I'm thinking like, sweet corn? Is sweet corn like a dead center? Like who's getting sweet corn on their pizza? Yeah, is that dead center? Would you put that no? It's a bit of an odd one, isn't it? I think sweet chicken corn. is super hit and miss. Sometimes yeah. I think it's pretty good. Sometimes it's real bad. And so I think chicken is like, so you've averaged Smack in the middle. You've I think got so. Kind of this range here. I see. I, I I think that you gave a good answer. I think this is this is probably about right. I maybe guessed a little bit too. I didn't know you had a bias against chicken, chicken on pizza, man. I didn't know you were such a chicken fan. Yeah, I'm not I think a fan if it's like a nice pizza. seasoned kind of almost like shawarma ish like chicken that's like put on a pizza, I think it can mm. be tasty. But like obviously, if it's just like the kind of chunks of sandwich chicken that you get from like a yeah, meal deal. Like like, I, I, I'm thinking of like Domino's pizza, right? So like, you know, yeah, <laughs> you take strips. away average yeah. pizza. Oh, yeah, Domino's yeah, chicken exactly. is garbage, man. Terrible, <laughs> terrible. But I do like a, a barbecue chicken pizza every now and again, man. It's, you know, there's some good yeah, stuff. So. I, I do think it's decent. Yeah, yeah, so, I do think it's decent. Um, yeah, it's tricky, man. This is a good, uh, okay. this is interesting this was, uh, this was, that was very good. <laughs> very good. What we got, right, what we let's got? See, let's see what we've got here. So we've got hot and cold, never on time, always on time. Oh, man. Okay, let me spin the dial. Let me spin the dial. I think I'm gonna go with the, the with, with with this one. I think it's gonna be this one. Okay. Um. Oh man. I'm going to go with the start of films in a cinema. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, right. Okay, I, like if you just said the start of films, I mean like you get to choose when the film starts if you're watching it like at home, but um, <laughs> at the cinema. cinema. Okay. So specifically in a cinema. Never on time. Right here, this is uh, this is UK Trends. Yes, then, yes, yeah, 100%. Over here, always on time. It's like Japan Trends. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. This is like um, the Queen's chauffeur, right? Miss mm -hmm. you rest in peace. So you're saying the start of films and cinemas. Uh, so I think it's got to be in like the middle third. So somewhere between like here and here, like in this kind of quadrant or thirdrant or uh, yeah, trident? You, tr trident? Trident. Yeah, exactly. I like it. In this trident. Um, so if it's in this trident, then... Hmm. The, the films at cinemas, I think, are pretty consistent. Like, my local cinema has a very consistent 20 minutes of ads before the film starts. So it depends on what Nick's thinking here, because usually they'll give a start time, and then there'll be, like, 20 minutes of ads. So by that logic, then they're not on time, right? They've lied to you. They've said the movie starts at this time, and really, they've lured you there to watch ads instead for 20 minutes before the movie <laughs> actually starts, right? They've scammed you. Um, like, could you imagine if that was the same for anything else, <laughs> right? You book a table yeah, for, for food true. at, at five o'clock. You sit down at five o'clock and they spend half an hour trying to advertise other products to you before they let you give you a menu. Like you'd be pissed <laughs> if that was the case. <laughs> I mean, so one could argue that that's what the drinks order is. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> but like, I, I, feel but like I, 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 I know what you mean. <laughs> like if you sat down, like, um, I don't know, someone from the BMW dealership walked up to you and spent the first 20 minutes trying to sell you on the new ix5 you'd be a, like, a little annoyed i think like hey yeah, sorry man I we're mean, just trying to get some food if that's all right like yeah, I, i'm not yeah. interested in this 
Uh, um, okay. <clears throat> so, but I think for the most part, they're very on time. Occasionally, it kind of fluctuates. Like sometimes the ads will finish a little early, sometimes it's a little late. So they're not super on time. But I think movies are pretty damn well on time. Um, I don't think they're all the way up here, but I think they're pretty close, man. I think movies at the cinema, the start time, post-COVID, during COVID, there was no advertisers. They were starting them just randomly. You'd walk in and they'd be like, sorry, no, start time, so you'd be 20 minutes late. But anomalies aside, I think they're pretty... Oh! Ooh! Ooh. Close, man. So close. So close. close. I think oh. they're more consistent than you think. Maybe at least at my, my local cinema. <laughs> man, I've, sat, I, I, I've gone through... Maybe it's because I've gone to like a variety of cinemas. Some are fine. Some of them are great. Some of them I've like, I have said to whoever I'm going with, we're just going to miss the first 20 minutes because we've been like 35 minutes late, right? Yeah. Gone in. And still ads. Still yeah. Playing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is wild oh. that they show ads at the start of something that you pay for like that. Right. It's crazy. It's, uh, it is crazy. And the, the extent of it in some cinemas as well is, 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 is terrible. It's, it's very bad. It's very bad. Yeah. Right. Someone said, but is consistent on time? I think so. Right, I think they're kind of the same thing. Like, if you're consistent, yeah, there's, a, there's time, an right? element of it for sure, for sure. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for worst day of the year, best day of the year, but I'll spin the dial first. Okay. I'm gonna re-spin the dial because the okay, um, okay, I, like, okay. You can't, you can't guess. I'll show it to you. You can't guess for like four is out of the guessing range here. Oh uh, right, okay, right. okay. So I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna re-spin this. I think you're supposed to re-spin if it goes that far out. Okay. Just because, like, bad Disney character goes, Disney character, Disney owns every character these days. That's just that's true. Bad that's character, true. good character. character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, worst day of the year, best day of the year. Um, I am gonna go with. Um. We gotta find that from the same wavelength. I'm going with October twelfth. Oh, October twelfth is pretty naff because I mean, this year at least, October twelfth was like it was actually still really warm. I know that Isaac prefers cooler. If we go with just the weather to start, Isaac prefers cooler uh, months to warmer months. I think. So that wins it some points. It's also not far out from Isaac's birthday and also Christmas. It's kind of getting into that festive season, which is pretty good. But then October 12th is just kind of, it's just kind of so average, which might, I mean, that could be here, right? It, it could be right here. Because like over here, you've got like January, February, the weather's freezing cold. Everyone's run out of money. YouTube doesn't pay anyone anything uh, this part of this part of the year. Um, so I feel like this is this is like Jan Feb. Then we go into like I don't know, like yeah, maybe like a September October kind of vibe. I mean, September is kind of good because all the kids go back to school, so you can go and sneak a holiday in a nice warm country um, without the the crazy crowds. Over on like the the right, if if I almost treat this like a tier list of like months, um, we've got you know things like Christmas Day and uh, New Year's Eve and birthdays and stuff like that, like special um, special occasions. Um, hmm. <laughs> October twelfth is bang average. It's so average. I'm going to leave it in the middle, everybody. Yo! Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, finally some points. Oh, man. Did you have four there? Uh, no, did I, get, did I, I give myself... No, I think just, it's three. Just, just missed the four. Yeah. Missed oh. Four. <laughs> oh, man. Nice, nice, oh, nice, nice. I was trying nice. to think, because, like, obviously, when I see this, 
my first thought is like, oh, you've got, like, well, this is what day of the year I'm thinking, Christmas Day, Valentine's Day, Easter. Yeah, I'm thinking of yeah, actual yeah. days. And then mm-hmm. I've got to think of a bang average day. But, right? uh, and I was just going to say a date, but then I, I got into my head and I started thinking, okay, no, January and February are bad months. If you pick like, Fe- I was going to be like February 10th, and I was going to be like, oh, but Nick's going to think that Valentine's Day is close and you've got to buy a gift or oh, something. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, it's true, cold. So February is probably down here or something. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I was like, no, I've got to go. But like, I go in the summer. Well. I'm like, I'm trying to, trying to just, <laughs> just balance it. I like it though. Good. You've it's done good. very well. You've done very well with that one. <laughs> Unstable, stable, nerd job. Oh my Lord. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's spin the dial. I don't know where the card went. Um, the nerd um, card. <laughs> right. Okay. What do I pick? Uh, um, let's go with nerd and jock. Okay. Oh, it, it appeared for me there. Interesting. There we go. I, it never disappeared for me. That's, uh, oh, yeah, it disappeared on my end. Job. Um, Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory. Oh! <laughs> Pretty close, oh, man. Pretty very close. close. Very close. Very close. <laughs> Wait, that was all... actually quite easy. Oh. Yeah, no, it's good, man. <laughs> there we go. That's a, that was a nice, nice run. My is spicy. Play Oh, I like those. I like okay. those. Okay. 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 Um, plain and fancy is interesting. Like, it's not plain as in like flavorless. It's plain as in like not Boring. fancy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. I'm going to go maybe with plain and fancy then. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, there's so many ways you can go with this. So many ways you could interpret this. It's tough. It's a hard card. It is. It's very hard. Making it difficult for for us for no reason. (laughs) Plain to fancy. I'm always tempted to go with my first instinct. Like I've had Mm -hmm. a, and I, I had a first idea and now I'm trying to think of other ones. But I'm just going to go back to my first instinct, man, because I feel like that's going to okay. be our best choice for get. I'm okay. going to say a Sunday dinner. That's what I'm going to say, Nick. Oh, okay. Um, okay, interesting. So, so like, over here would be, like, you know, if, I, if he's gone with, like, it depends if he's gone with, like, food here then. Like, if this is, like, a Michelin star meal or, you know... It's just like, you know, like a, 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 a slow roasted brisket of beef on a bed of home baked focaccia. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> and then this is like beans on toast, right? Or just beans. Um, or has he gone with like vibe? Like is this, you've just become the prime minister and you're going to a, your first gala and this is drinking a glass of water, right? Um, I think in both of those cases, having a Sunday dinner is somewhat in the middle. I don't think having a Sunday dinner is is plain. It's quite a nice little ritual. It's not fancy either. I mean, sometimes you have family over. So I'm thinking like, am I just like slightly ticking to the right? I think this would be a very similar kind of score to what Isaac had before, um, where it was kind of in the middle. But it's not bang average. 
Like, what's bank average? Sausage roll from Greg's, maybe. Maybe it's a bit more fancy. Mm, I guess it depends on how you do your Sunday dinner. Do I go back this way a little bit? I want to keep it in the middle. I'm going to go just a little bit of a tiny increment. I'm going to go with a one increment to the right. There we go. I'm going to reveal. Oh, man. Are, are, are Greg sausage rolls on the line between plain and fancy? What is, <laughs> what is happening? A Greg sausage roll is... It, oh, the Greg sausage roll is freaking down here, man. It's as far... It's, it's pretty... The Greg sausage roll is like this. It's almost oh, as plain as it gets. No. So I don't know you, if you meant food or you meant... I don't think, I, so I mean, I kind of think of everything, right? Like, I think Sunday dinners are nice. And they're like, they're a little fancy, but I think that they're so commonplace in, in yeah, certain parts of the world. I think they're, they're quite like, complicated. Maybe that's why I went to like, to for the right. sure. Like, I guess you got to like, make a few different things, right? You are right. It can be over here, right? Like, I, I think it, it probably is actually more like here. I think my, my, my cue is, clue is a little off, maybe. But I don't know. I guess it depends on the scale. Like, I'm thinking, like, down here is eating, like, microwave mac and cheese or something. Like, you know, just something that you've. <laughs> Like you literally you know. the, the least effort possible, right? And you've but got, then maybe that's got... why I went slightly to the right because yeah. you've, you've got to make all your individual. But then maybe if you said roast chicken, but then for right? me, the, 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 I think I think the thing that got in my head there is that like past this halfway line, you get into fancy, and I don't think Sunday dinners are fancy, right? Or they don't have to be at least, right? And so mm. I'm thinking like. I guess my spectrum is just maybe wider, potentially, where you've got like really, really plain here, mm -hmm, but then also mm -hmm. like ultra fancy over on this yeah, side. The kind of yeah. levels of fancy that I will never experience. Yeah, right? like the, yeah. the extremes of fanciness are over here, which yeah. to me means that like, you know, even this is pretty fancy. This is like, you know, and then like, for me, it's like it's over here. But anyway, we're, you know, stupid, brilliant. Wor worst oh. chore, best chore. Right, right. Right, right. I mean, I'll make the choice for you, man. So. Put that card on. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go with... <laughs> doing the dishes. Okay. So this is... Physically. It's, it's no always... Yeah, no, I, I understood the, the prompt. It's always tricky here because, you know, there's, I've got to think of Nick's scale and my scale. I think doing the dishes is terrible. It's not the worst, but it's pretty bad. I have a dishwasher. I would not like to not have a dishwasher. Nick doesn't have a dishwasher. Nick is a dishwasher in that he washes his own dishes, which makes Nick think it's probably like the best chore in the world because he doesn't know what it's like. No, I'm joking. I know. You, I got to <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's, um, he's, I believe he has a dishwasher tear, at some point. Tear, tear rolls down cheek. <laughs> Um, what are the the worst and the best chores? Washing dishes is not bad, but it's pretty bad. I'm trying to think of what the best, uh, but but like, like yeah, I guess it depends. They're all they're all bad, right? They're that, all chores. That's the thing. They're all slightly on the bad side of the scale, I guess. Like scrubbing a very dirty toilet is like the worst chore, I think, potentially. Obviously, if you don't let your toilet get that bad, you don't have to get there. But like, that's what I'm. I'm thinking bad toilet scrubbing down here, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, or like just something monotonous and tedious. Like if you got a lot of dusting to do, that just takes up a lot of time mm -hmm. for like mm -hmm. almost no benefit. That feels like it's pretty bad. The best chores, taking out the trash, easy, easy chore. I've known Nick doesn't agree with this because Nick lives in an apartment building. For me, I just take a bag out of the bin and I stick it in the bank, the bin outside. I have to best leave chore. the premises. Yeah, I have to leave. <laughs> what does Nick think the best chore is? What does Nick think? So, like, I think Nick and I both quite like cooking. So, I think maybe making food is probably quite high up on the scale for Nick and I, like, in, in terms of best chore. Like, I don't mind cooking food, you know. I think we talked a few days ago about Nick, you know, enjoys chopping as a as a, as a task. I do, yeah. So yeah, I do. I think, you know, that's up here. Quite therapeutic. So, that's probably a good chore. I think that, I think that as far as chores go... For me, man, washing dishes got to be on the left side. I don't know if that's the same for Nick. Nick might put it on the right side. But I'm trying to think of what's better, what's worse than washing the dishes, and I don't know if there is much. Unless you, like, vomit on your own carpet and you have to clean it up. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've had to clean up people's vomit on carpets before. <laughs> that's bad. That's a it's bad job. That's, like, that's down here, man. But, um... 
<laughs> but I think the dishwasher, I think washing the dishes, it's probably like, probably around here, man. I'm going to go there. Let's Ooh, go. Okay, okay, okay. Um, well, yeah, you got, similar you got wavelength. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, 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 I okay. don't like washing the dishes. Doing the dishes no, is the worst part of cooking. Yes, 100%. Yeah, for me. Yeah. Um, That's, uh, I, I probably would not yeah. cook anywhere near as much as I do if I didn't have a dishwasher, man. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. Because I'm yeah. quite liberal I, with I, different like, pans and pots. and. Uh, on the other side of that, I think I would cook more, a lot more creatively if I yes. did have a dishwasher, yes. right? Yeah, um, bingo. Yeah, like at the very left here, I was like, emptying the vacuum bin and <laughs> you know like scrubbing the gutters yeah, sure, crap, yeah. right yeah, like yeah, yeah. uh yeah so so that was good that like was good. Uh, scraping could... ice off the the back of the of the road behind your car so you can drive yeah, somewhere in the morning yeah, when the ice won't like, come up you don't pain in the ass salt. yeah 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 your okay. door handle's frozen or something like that easy to kill hard to kill unhygienic hygienic okay okay I am going to go, mm. and I'm going to say the mood. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. He's gone all abstract on me. <laughs> I mean, the mood is, the mood can be easy to kill. Sometimes the mood can also be hard to kill. It depends on the mood, and it depends who's who's going to kill it. Oh no! Right, this is this is like a like a. I'm going in blind with this one, <laughs> like very blind. Um. Oh man! Oh man! Right. I feel like it depends who you are. Like the mood can sometimes be quite easy to kill. It can also be hard to kill. I think we're in the. We're in the middle here, unless Isaac's gone like literal and he's like, he's got something that's here, right? The mood is very easy to kill. Um, Let's go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's go. You know, I could have made it go. easy. I could have said like spiders or something and you'd have, you know, oh, man. easy to kill. The bacteria. But... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that was good. YouTube career, you know, easy yeah. to kill, but you know. <laughs> the, the algorithm. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. oh, my Lord. Okay. Artis artisanal. Or mass produced, Ooh. or boring hobby, an interesting hobby. Very subjective. Very Love subjective. It. Yeah, the cards disappear for me. I think it's because they're slightly in the box. I think it's the oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. I'm going to go with. Ooh. Knitting. Knitting. Okay. Yeah. No offense to knitters. I think that's on the boring side of the hobby scale. So as per usual, we got we gotta establish a scale here. I think the most boring hobby is like finding and categorizing different strains of grass and then like yeah. putting yeah. them on your nice. wall to check, you know, and, <laughs> and comparing and contrasting the different colours and then discussing with your friends the uh, intricacies of those different blades of grass. And then over on the right hand side, interesting hobby. This is like um, NASCAR or something. If you like drive a supercar for a living or like it for fun, I think that's a pretty mm -hmm. interesting hobby. Or maybe if you like, oh, I don't know. If you're in charge of um, nuclear warheads, maybe as, as a hobby. Um, it's knitting, a pretty good hobby. <laughs> <laughs> knitting is definitely on the more boring side. I don't think it's like super boring. I mean, like the act itself, personally, I think it seems pretty boring for the most part you see people kind of just sitting there doing something with their just kind of doing this with their hands and then yeah. they, they usually like you know they're watching tv or they're reading a book or they're doing something else at the same time or talking so like i think the fact that it's usually a hobby that's kind of um a secondary hobby like it's not a, a, a primary hobby 
Um, as in, like, it's it's usually done alongside something else. I think that kind of necessitates it being on the boring end of the spectrum. I don't think it's quite, you know, categorizing plant genome levels of boring, but, like, it's it's it's, it's close. Um, you do get a product out at the end of it, which makes it a lot more interesting, like the fact that you can make a scarf or a, a quilt or a throw. Like, you get you get something out of it, which makes it, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty good, you know. I think... That Nick also thinks knitting is a boring hobby. I don't believe Nick knits. So I think Nick thinks that knitting is here. Let's beautiful. Go. Beautiful. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nick, you're, um, to have. you're a lot better with these clues than I am, man. You got 27 to my 17. Oh, jeez. Oh, Dirty, clean, easy to remember, hard to remember. Okay. Knit and Isaac. Um, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hard to remember, easy to remember. It depends on how abstract you want to get. Um, oh, it's interesting, this one. Yeah, I'm going to say... Um, where I left my car keys. Okay, okay. So I guess it really depends on the type of person you are. If there's a regular place you put your car keys. Or... Um, if you're someone like there are some people who literally lose their car keys like it's freaking like i don't know like a fly right like they they lose it like it's it's like it doesn't it's completely unimportant and they just need to go end up going to the the key the the showroom and getting new keys right and then there's people who like always put it in the same place i mean i personally there's like a few spots in the apartment that I know that my car keys would most likely be. But I wouldn't actively remember where I put them. I just go and look in those designated places and they would just be in one of those places. Um, what would Isaac pick here? Is Isaac a where have I left my keys kind of guy? Or is Isaac a my keys are there kind of guy? I think on the grand scheme of things, like if we actually look at the spectrum, like here, this is like the Fibonacci sequence, right? Or like the freaking uh, pi to 100,000 digits. And then this is your name, right? Um, so I think it's in the middle, tending towards easy to remember. I'm going here. Bang. Yeah. No. So like, <laughs> I'm with you. Oh, I, no. have, I have, usually, I just leave them by the front door, man. But if they're not by the front door, I am screwed. You have no idea I am they so are. bad no idea at finding where my keys are. <laughs> I was, yeah, I like, you know, again, it's tricky here. I, um, I want, my first thought was just like, I was just going to say pi, right? To like 10 digits or whatever. Yeah, that's, yeah. No, I like, I like you what you went with. I had to really know the type of memory you had. Yeah. Because like, if I'd have said that, it's like, obviously Ooh. it's over here, right? Um, my second thought, I was going to say um, Boris Johnson's real name because he's like Alexander, <laughs> Alexander De Feffel. Yeah, Boris exactly. Johnson. That's all we see. We remembered it. <laughs> Should be on the on the right. <laughs> Easy to remember. Oh, and then I man. thought I thought car keys. You know, people always forget their car keys. And people, I, people do always forget their car keys. It's true. It's I'm the true. worst for it, man. I'll be like, where is my? Where am I? I'll be like, ask my girlfriend. I'm like, do you, do you see my car keys? Oh my, my glasses. You know, if they're not where I think they're, oh, if they're not on my desk. I don't know where my glasses are. I am completely screwed. I'm like, do you know my, have you seen my glasses? You know, so. <laughs> I don't remember oh. when was Google founded. <laughs> 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 Apparently hard to remember. Oh, oh. dear. <laughs> Low quality, high quality, Star Wars, Star Trek. Oh, right. Here we go. I'm doing it. I'm ready, man.
You're going with Star Wars, Star Trek, eh? I want to. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say it. I've uh, I've not seen Star Wars. I've seen the newest three movies, but not of any anything else related to it. And I've also not seen any Star Trek, not any movies, not any of the TV shows, <laughs> nothing. Right, you ready, Isaac? <laughs> Obama's last name. Yeah, I'm ready. Both of them. <laughs> but- <laughs> What do you mean both of them? But you think both of them are actually Star Wars? Is what you're both, of them, yeah, both of them are just both. They're both Star Wars. They're both Star Wars. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask chat, okay? That, that, was a, that was a really weird one. I don't know what I was supposed to say for that. Um, yeah, no, it's tricky. Um, <laughs> like, like what, what's an answer? <laughs> for, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this here, Nick, uh, and I'm gonna say uh, you, Nick, as well. Oh, I knew to me. you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that. I reckon. <laughs> uh, I reckon we've got this. <laughs> <laughs> we're not on the same wavelength. We're not, no, no. <laughs> at least that I know. Where right. I, at least I know where I stand relative to you, man. I think you're <laughs> slightly on the friend side. You think we're enemies. <laughs> I thought you'd got an extreme and you'd picked it deliberately. Oh, yeah, that would be a oh, good Oh, man. <laughs> Look at these. For oh. kids, for adults, messy for clean food. Okay. Oh, flipping act. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. Do I go with, like, what, what it's meant to be or what it actually is, right? That's what we got to find out, man. Vapes. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Right, so clearly vapes are for adults, but like based on the fact that every single vape I see is bright orange, green, and yellow, develops like the biggest cloud of smoke you've ever seen and is flavored like Candyland <laughs> Extreme Bubble XL <laughs> damp. Like, <laughs> I think it's legit, maybe like here. Oh, oh, close. Oh, so, so close. close. <laughs> so close. Oh. Okay. Oh, man. Expected, unexpected, temporary, permanent. Hmm. I'm going to do this. Okay. And I'm going to say... Um... Ooh, what am I going to say? Ooh! Um... I'm going to say... Like the um, the nuclear waste that is developed by um, running nuclear reactors. It's like here, isn't it? It's it like it's, it's going to take like millions of years to like they, we have to store them like in special facilities deep underground, right? Because they're so permanent, and it's going to become like a future problem. I'm going to go like here. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh, okay. Nick, last one, all right. Okay. Okay. Etiquette, manners, freedom fighter. <laughs> you what are these thing? cards? Would you like would you like more a third card, Nick? I would you like can... a third card. Okay, please. here's your yeah. third card. It's round pointy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be round and pointy. <laughs> okay, right. Here you go. Round pointy. Oh, for <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> uh, the Gherkin Building in London. The Gherkin Building. So obviously, I, I think based on your reaction, it's quite clearly a middle-ish thing. <laughs> it's somewhere in this region because it's um. So the Gherkin Building, um, is pointy. Uh, building. I don't know if I spelled Don Gherkin correctly. Um, so it's it's pretty pointy, but it's also like rounded at the top. Like this. So um, it's a little bit of both, which I think um, is Nick's intention. I think it's more pointy than it is round. So I'm going to put it right there. 
Ooh. Yeah, you're, you're on the board. I got a, I got a couple yeah, points. Yeah, I, 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 I got a feeling. If I'd, have, the middle of that. if I'd have been playing the meta game, I probably would have just left it. Because, like, mm-hmm. again, you, you, you laughed in a way that was like, oh, no, it's <laughs> difficult. It's but, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I wonder how many cards there are. You know, I don't know if there's... Oh, there's 179 more cards. We've used 71. You know what I should have said then? I should have said, like, an infinite point. Or, like, <laughs> the universe before it exp- <laughs> like exploded. <laughs> oh, man. Hard to do, easy to do. Not huggable, huggable. Failure masterpiece. Scary animal, nice animal. These are good cards. Rough, smooth. Villain hero. Bad candy, good candy. Ooh, too much of a spell Ooh, on that lots one. of the physics of that. Unpopular, popular. Yeah, I wonder if you just, like... Oh, yeah, you can throw him round. Just. Yeah, just really go for it. Yeah, you can also flip the table, people. You can. Do you have yeah, the flip button on the top there or no? I've got the flip button. Here oh, we go. go. For it, man. go give, give it a flip. you got to give it a flip. Oh, Boom! All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Into the depths of the universe. Nick, we're back inside in this regal. Oh, that's nice. Uh, oh, look regal, at this. Regal place. Okay, Sorry, yeah, actually, no, this, this. Is not the, this is not right. This is where we belong. Oh, like, it's my I. living room, Isaac. <laughs> yeah, this is good. This is good. <laughs> All right. Well, oh. that was Wavelengths, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. Nick and I, I feel like I should be able to click to get out of this tunnel like it's Google Maps. Like when I'm moving yeah, around here. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel I'm like so I'm like a Double clicking, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that was Wavelengths. Uh, Nick and I do now have Tabletop Simulator, though, so we maybe we'll be back to play more Tabletop mm-hmm. games going forward. For now, though, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the game and you want to see more of stuff like this in the future, go ahead and hit uh, follow, subscribe to get notified as soon as new videos go live. For now, though, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.